Greetings, I'm Dr. Hall, and with Daniel, I'm going to talk about digital dentistry. It's a short period in during Monday lunch hour, but I would like to try my best to provide a practical tip. Today, I'm going to talk about why we need to pursue digital dentistry. I'm going to talk about past, present, and future of digital dentistry. This is an image that I show frequently when I provide lecture. This is a traditional bathroom. To people who are used to these kind of bathroom, not really uncomfortable. They must be really accustomed to it. To me, analog treatment is like this. It gives me the same feel. Using impression material, plaster model, articulator, taking impression, and doing repeat impression taking due to impression failure. This is like using traditional bathroom. People have used such bathroom when they face new culture and new technology. Would they have difficulty in understanding how good the new technology is? By just using it once, they'd realize how barbaric the old way was. Oral scanner and digital treatment really gives us the same feel. Will people be able to turn back to their old days? It will be impossible. A question was asked to kindergartners. What does this image resemble? For older generation, if you look at this image, people think of the handle of an old traditional telephone. However, these days, young kids, when they look at this image, they don't think of the handle of a telephone, but they think of a person's ear. Therefore, there's a stark difference in how young and the old think. I think this kind of training was provided and is still is. Spending a lot of time to fabricate denture with a wax. I'm sure you have done it in your school days. However, soon enough we will not be using this kind of training system anymore. We are going to teach students to design prosthesis on computer. I believe such transition is imminent. In the beginning, digital dentistry was for full ceramic and for hybrid resin ceramic. People who like to give aesthetic treatment used these equipments. What sparked wide use of digital dentistry? The reason is, as full zirconia prosthesis became more widely used in dental clinics, the scope and breadth of digital dentistry widened exponentially. It can be used not just for zirconia crown, but also metal crown and temporary denture. You can do it very conveniently and simply. The one remaining is final denture, however, according to a recent study, it will be able to make final denture very soon. I first saw oral scanner in 2011. I found it very interesting and I brought it to my dental clinic and did demo. However, the result was very disappointing. The crown margin was very inappropriate. Maybe this was because I did not operate the equipment properly. However, it was still very disappointing. In 2014, I adopted oral scanner, and since then, I have been using oral scanner. Ladies and gentlemen, the starting point of digital dentistry is oral scanner. If you do not use oral scanner, you cannot provide digital dental treatment. In 2014, at the time, the CAD software which designs prosthesis was in black and white. The problem is 
There was no difference in color between gingiva and the tooth. As a result, the lab technician couldn't tell where the preparation margin was. There was no way to know. In patient mouth, it was very clear. The preparation margin was very clear. However, once scanned, you could not tell it apart. The second problem was that lab technicians wanted a model, saying that they could not work without a model. Therefore, I made a huge investment. I bought 3D printer and printed out model and sent it to the lab. I did it for every case, however, the result was not really satisfactory. At times, the margin was short and sometimes there was gap as these problems repeated itself. I thought that doing these procedures using digital technique, there were limitations. For the first to six months, I actively used digital dentistry. However, the frequency thinned out. In 2016, I upgraded the scanner and I also bought a milling machine as well as 3D printer. And in order to do prosthesis better, I also added microscope and I decided I would actively pursue digital dentistry. I wanted to be able to provide one-day restoration using scanner and four-axis milling machine. As shown, old amalgam restoration fell out. You need to prep and scan, make inlay, and you need to provide it to the patient and I experienced many advantages that I had not thought of it before. First is, after doing anesthesia, within one hour, the entire treatment process is completed. Therefore, the patient does not complain of discomfort. When you provide treatments such as inlay, a lot of patients complain of discomfort and sensitivity for almost a month after treatment. After completing the processes within one hour using scanner and milling machine, the number of patients complaining of sensitivity really became almost close to none. And the workflow that I have used from May 2016 to December next year was that I aim to provide one-day treatment for inlay, onlay, and laminate. I used a digital workflow. For full zirconia crown, I worked with a lab technician and I had the analog workflow there. In December 2017, I introduced 5-axis milling machine which can mill the zirconia disc. I adopted a machine for heat treatment. My dental clinic went through a lot of change. This is an image that really reflects the change. The main patient of the day was the patient in the center. Six anterior needed to be prepped on the anterior side and bite raising was also required. After making temporary crown on both sides, implant impression needed to be taken. In the past, prepping six crowns and making temporary crown manually, I would have been stuck with a patient all afternoon. However, I was able to treat crown treatment for a patient on left and right. How was this possible? I prepped the six crowns and raised the bite, took scan. Using CAD software, I designed a temporary crown and after that, I used a milling machine as shown to do the milling. Temporary crown was milled. This is the final temporary crown. As it was milled, I prepped the crown of the patient both on the left and right and did scanning. This would not have been possible if I had used analog process. This was possible because I used digital dentistry. And then what is the digital dentistry workflow? 
First, information needs to be input. You input information using oral scanners. Second, CAD CAM software is used to design crown. This is interpretation of data. Finally, I determine how to print out the designed crown. I use a 3D printer and 4-axis milling machine here. It could be 5-axis milling machine as well. I'm going to show you what kind of workflow there is depending on 4-axis or 5-axis milling machine. I use 4-axis milling machine to fabricate inlay or laminate. I scan and then design inlay or laminate, determine how to print it out. Using 4-axis milling machine, inlay and laminate is milled. I use block type material here. Milling is done. If ceramic was used, heat to treatment process follows. If I'm to use hybrid resin ceramic, heat treatment is not necessary. After that, once it is fabricated within one hour, you can set the prosthesis, be it laminate or inlay. If I'm using 5-axis machine to provide inlay or laminate, I take oral scan and use CAD CAM software to design it. I interpret the data using disk and 5-axis milling machine, I mill it out. If I'm using crown using zirconia, coloring process is necessary. And once coloring is finished, for about one to seven hours, a sintering process ensues. Once final crown comes out, I set it on the patient. Next, if we're going to print something out using 3D printer, you need to scan, design, and print it out using 3D printer. After that, in order to remove the debris off the material, you do washing. Once this is done, you do curing process to make it set and harden. Once this is done, finally, you adjust the restoration and fit it to the patient mouth. If we are to provide implant prosthesis to a patient, what kind of process is required? If we are to use customizing abutment, I'm going to explain the process accordingly. Oral scan is taken, crown and abutment. Customized abutment needs to be designed at the same time. Within dental clinic, crown is milled. Coloring is done, centering is done, and final process is conducted. If you send the material of the designed abutment to a professional milling center, the abutment is adjusted at the milling center within three days and then sent back to the dental clinic. And if you check the fit, the crown and abutment fit is very good in a lot of cases. So what is your choice to realize digital dentistry? You can choose multiple methods to equip your dental clinic with digital equipment. First, if you're not confident about designing and if you want to go home early and are reluctant to stay over hours, if you just want to do scanning, you can just buy a scanner. In those cases, scanning is done by the dentist. Interpretation and printing of prosthesis is handled by the lab. Who takes the lead in the interpretation of prosthesis design? In this case, the lab takes the lead in the interpretation of data. This is very similar workflow to that of the analog. 
The problem is the cause of unsatisfactory prosthesis stems from the interpretation stage or the printing stage. In coloring stage, the problems occur. Of course, this is under the premise that prep has been done very well and implant was placed very appropriately. Based on input information, how should interpretation be done? Let me give you an example using implant. When we provide implant prosthesis, how to, to do crown size and crown ratio? Buccolingually, how to design the abutment needs to be determined. Crown shape, contour, embrasure space, the axis of crown, needs to be interpreted in order to provide prosthesis. If such interpretation is done insufficiently or inappropriately, what kind of results could occur? This can. Same patient and two different lab technicians. On the left, you can see anatomical form and the occlusal surface. However, on the right, it does not have appropriate anatomical form or occlusal surface. This is a different case. This is even worse. The shade or contour or the shape of tooth, size proportion, gingival and incisal embrasure space design, emergence profile shape. The basics are not satisfied here. Implanted placement position is fairly nice. However, the prosthesis design was a problem. Second, we can have the following process as shown. The dentist can be in charge of input and interpretation of data and make requests for printing to the lab. You may want to design your prosthesis and have the prosthesis printed out by a lab. In this case, you would do oral scanning, design prosthesis using CAD program, and printing is also managed by the dentist. And therefore, the interpretation of the prosthesis is done by the dentist, and this is the ideal option. Third, the scanning, CAD CAM designing, everything is done at the dental clinic. If you are to do all this, then you'd be working late hours. You do scanning, CAD CAM design, milling, coloring, sintering, heat treatment, and setting. The entire procedure will be done by the dentist. If you could do it well, then excellent results can come to be. However, there are these instances. This is a prosthesis made with digital workflow. It does not have appropriate shape, contour, or anatomical features. What is important is to have the ability to interpret rather than to be the interpreter. And the person with such ability should make the design. The fourth option is you scan and you just do 3D printing. There was space between teeth. Teeth were prepped. Scanning is done and design is made. Printing is done using 3D printer. Temporary crown was printed out and as shown, temporary teeth were set. This is not a final prosthesis. If you use the 3D printer and scanner to make a temporary crown, you'd be able to save the time significantly that would have been spent as you make it with your own hands. On the other hand, when we place the implant, you can use scanner and 3D printer to design the guide. You could do surgery very accurately, even if you don't print it out in the dental clinic. If you send the data using scanner to one guide center, you can get a very accurate stent guide. For orthodontic treatment, you can get clear aligner if you scan data and send it over. 
You can use scanner and 3D printer for different orthodontic treatment. Finally, this is the fifth option. You do scanner and 3D printer. Use a CAD CAM software to provide all sorts of procedures in the dental clinic. Then a lot of work will be required. If you do it all by yourself, it could become too much. However, this is a setting where you can get most ideal results. To give you result, why do we need digital technology? In all aspects, digital is better than analog. It is accurate. Comfortable for both patient and dentist. Simple. Saves time. Saves a significant cost. Efficiency is improved. And prosthesis delivery time is significantly reduced and we can save the precious time for the patient. Let me show you a couple of cases to show you how more efficient it can become if you use digital technology. The patient came in at 10 a.m. Restoration fell off. There was caries below. Bore was placed. Prep was done. Scanning was done. At 12 p.m. Crown was designed. I looked at it carefully to check the design thoroughly. I checked over jet and over bite. It's 12 p.m. Milling was done for about 20 minutes. And after that, coloring was done. At this stage, I used a quick centering mode. The prosthesis was centered in 45 to 1 hour. And this is the result. After polishing, at 5 p.m., the patient came back and on the same day, scan crown setting was complete. This is a different patient. The patient came from northern Gyeongsang region. The patient lives eight hours round trip away. It's very difficult for a patient to come in because of the distance and cost. So we have to provide a lot at a single visit. Endo treatment was done once and the patient came in on 10 a.m. that same day. Endo treatment was done. 10 a.m. Endo treatment was complete. Right after that, the crown was prepped and scanning was done. At 12 p.m., crown was designed. Quick centering mode was used, centering was done, and within an hour, Mio stain kit was used, and staining was done that fit the patient's natural dentition. 5 p.m., final crown was set. Very natural looking prosthesis was provided. This is a different case. This is an implant case. It's the same with this patient. This patient also came from Gyeongsang region. 10 a.m. healing abutment was removed. The scan body was connected and scanning was done. Design was done for this patient. Implant prosthesis was provided the same day. Customized abutment could not be provided to the patient. Abutment with link and zirconia coping was used. As shown, shape, overjet, overbite was checked thoroughly. Zirconia abutment coping and crown was milled at the same time. After that, quick centering was done within an hour. Staining was done as shown. When the patient came back in, 5 p.m., abutment was connected and final crown was set. You can see that the colors are very aesthetic. The hole was filled on a crucial surface, and this is the final image. Dental clinic. I'm not sure what kind of environment do you have. Digital driven dentistry is becoming more of a trend away from manual driven dentistry. 
Please do not procrastinate any longer in adopting digital dentistry, and I urge you to start real soon. I strongly recommend this. Q&A session. First, what is important in order to become master in digital dentistry? Scan, design, milling, coloring, centering. The entire process is very important. However, the key is interpreting crown, the design phase. Therefore, in order to do digital workflow well, you need to be able to use the CAD program appropriately. That is the key. We believe that is the most important factor. Second question, I send material after scanning to the lab. However, prosthesis is very unsatisfactory. What is the reason? There can be many reasons behind it. Margin can be wrong. At times, occlusion can be wrong, contact can be wrong as well, the color can be wrong as well. These days, the digital equipment is really phenomenally precise. And if you have a correct workflow, there will be no problem with the margin, contact, and the occlusal problem does not occur very frequently. If something is wrong, you need to figure out what is causing this problem, be it within the dental clinic or the lab. You need to understand the root cause very accurately. If you don't like the color, in order to make the color accurate, the photos need to be provided to the lab. And based on such information, the lab technician would be able to refer to it and provide the correct color. If there's no such information, the lab technician needs to imagine and therefore satisfactory prosthesis may not be provided. This is the end. Thank you for watching.